for today's vlog. I'm finally not in the house. I thought this might be a fun topic for today's video, Airbnbs. Oh, are you serious? Oh, it just collapsed on my car. I've shared this on Instagram, I think like one time, but this is actually my Airbnb. This is a guest book, so people who stay here can leave you know, little notes or whatever, so it's fun to check in on the guest journal every once in a while. Let's see, January 1st, wow. We'll just read some of these, they're pretty fun. Thank you so much for this wonderful cabin weekend getaway. My family has been talking about having a cabin getaway for Christmas slash New Year's and we finally did it. My husband, sister, brother-in-law, and dad enjoyed this family vacation, playing board games and taking hikes. I loved relaxing in the copper tub bath as well. We were so happy with this cabin to bring in the New Year together. Oh, that's nice. Oh, two of them are from Texas. I've been wanting to make an Airbnb video for a little while. I just haven't gotten around to doing it, but I thought today would be a good day to do it. Just show off the space a little bit, just for fun. But also I had a couple chores I needed to do up here. So let's do chores first. <laughs> Besides the flies, the house is always really clean. Our house cleaner does a really good job, but sometimes there's just flies. It is in the woods. Flies and bugs are everywhere. <laughs> this is a fun spot up here. It's like a loft in between the stairs with a bed. And you can see down here. Uh, 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 uh. Hello. <laughs> I think I got all the flies that way. If someone happens to book tomorrow, the place will be perfecto ready. What the? I just heard a fly. No. <laughs> I think he's up there. Ah! <sighs> oh. You dang flies. <laughs> Checking the coffee pot. Very clean. These are things in Airbnbs that sometimes don't get cleaned. But this one, no coffee grounds. It's all good to go. Everything's clean, everything's working, everything appears to be in order. So I think this trip was a success. And I'm glad that one review in the guest book said they enjoyed playing board games because one of my goals is to have a nice little board game selection customized by me because I love board games. And I've picked out a couple that I'm like, man, this would be great. I want to tell you a little story. So we got Camel Up, Munchkin, Exploding kittens and then some cards. So I want to. There's like a few more I want to get for this like board game shelf. But Camel Up was actually the first time that I played it was in Iceland when me, Justin, and Caleb went. The Airbnb actually had this game and we played it for hours. I'm not kidding. We stayed up to like midnight playing this game. Since then, it's become one of my favorite games. It's just so much fun and. It's pretty easy to learn. I think it's the perfect board game for an Airbnb. So there's that. And there's a couple other games I want to get that are just my personal favorites. But I'm glad that person enjoyed playing them. I enjoy coming up here every once in a while. The house is just so relaxing. It's fun to just sit in here and, I don't know, relax. <laughs> Plus, it's like tucked away in the woods here. There's tons of wildlife all the time, like deer and I think turkeys and 
Of course, there's a bear terrorizing me at this place as well. I made a couple videos last year, I think, about a bear that destroyed our chicken coop, ate our chickens, destroyed my trash. And wouldn't you know, there's one here as well. I have a shed outside that the trash goes in. And this bear has destroyed the shed multiple times. I, I don't know what it is with me and bears. We just don't get along. I don't know. But the bear hasn't been around for a while. It's Obviously, it's winter right now, so they're not really out. So hopefully in the summertime, there's no more bear issues. <laughs> I was talking with one of the neighbors here, and they were saying that that bear, they had already reported it to the Division of Wildlife for like relocating because it's just a huge nuisance. So I'm hoping they did that. Hey. <sighs> And like I said earlier, I've been wanting to make an Airbnb video or some videos about this topic. But since we got this place, I didn't want to make one too soon or right off the bat just because I wanted to get into the flow of how Airbnb works, um, what it means to be a host, and all that organically on the website. I didn't want any type of influence from my YouTube or anything like that to play a role into it. But I think it's a cool place and I want to be able to share it. And it's been really fun being a host. I really enjoy the hospitality aspect and it's just really cool and fun to have people come and stay and have a great time. So that's why I feel like now's a good time to share about it. I've been doing it for, oh gosh, maybe, maybe two years in July, I think. Actually, I made an Instagram for this Airbnb and maybe ones in the future as well. So that's in the description. You can go check it out if you want. I like to just share like updates and random photos on there. If you ever did feel inclined to book it, you can do it right there. If you did feel like you wanted to book this place, send an inquiry and just say dad vlogs and I'll give you a little percent off just as a thank you for being a subscriber and checking it out. I think this house is really cool because the lady we bought it from ended up moving to Mexico, but she renovated this entire place. She was the general contractor. She said they used all locally sourced wood. Like everything in here is sourced from within like 30 miles of this house. And the design is just so cool. She did a great job. It just makes it super unique. We also just got like a foot of snow yesterday. So I took a picture on the patio and I'm gonna post that on the Instagram. If you see it, you'll know that was from today's vlog. I've been using a new editor for these videos. His name is Fred. And the thing about Fred is he's actually an AI, not real. So if there's ever any weird cuts or anything that doesn't make a whole lot of sense, that is Fred's fault, okay? And you can yell at Fred in the comments. You can make fun of him. You can say, Fred, what was with this cut? Or Fred, what are you doing? Because he's AI, he doesn't care. He's not real. <laughs> And Fred, he gets the job done, but he's still not perfect and not the best. Fred's best at cutting out long pauses in between sentences or thoughts and cutting out words like, and then a big pause. See, that was an example, but you probably didn't even hear it because Fred didn't know it was an example and went ahead and cut out the pause and the ums. So... I still have to add all the music. So Fred kind of rough cuts and then I'll final cut. We're a little team, but that's it. <laughs> that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed this one, be sure to give it the depth. If you made it this far and you're not subscribed yet, hit subscribe down below. Let me know your thoughts on Airbnbs in general. Do you like staying at, oh, a big snowball just hit my car. Do you like staying at Airbnbs? Do you prefer hotels? Do you prefer sleeping in your car? <laughs> or what are your, what are all your thoughts on that entire world of short-term rental? See you in the next video.